Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use two dimensional arrays in C sharp. A two dimensional array is basically a situation where we have an array and every element inside of that array is itself an array. So essentially, we're building like a little matrix structure inside of our program. And I'm going to show you guys how we can do that. It's actually pretty simple. So if we want to create a two dimensional array, we can do it just like we would a normal array. So I'm going to create an array of uh, integers. So we'll just say int. And now what I want to do is I want to make an open and closed square bracket. And inside of this open and closed square bracket, I'm just going to put a comma here. And basically, this is telling C sharp that we want to have a two dimensional array. And I'm going to give this a name. So I'm just going to call this number grid. And I'm going to go ahead and set this equal to something. So now what we can do is we can actually fill this array with a bunch of different elements. So I'm going to make an open and closed um, curly bracket. And then I'm going to make a new line. And down here, we're actually going to be able to populate this array with elements. So if I was making a normal array, I would usually just put in like a bunch of numbers. So I'd say like one, two, three, four, etc. But when we're making a two dimensional array, all of the elements inside of this array need to be arrays. So themselves, they have to be arrays. So the first element has to be an array. And the second element would have to be an array. And the third element would have to be an array, etc all of these elements have to be arrays. And then I could give these values. So I could say like one, one, two. And then down here, we could say like three, four. And we could say five, six. So basically, now we have a little matrix of numbers, right? Not only does the number grid have three elements, but each of the elements inside of the number grid has two elements inside of it. And this is a two dimensional array. So let's look at how we can actually access some of these elements. What I can do is I can come down here and I'm just going to say console dot right line. And if I wanted to like, for example, let's say I wanted to print out this element over here, I can just refer to the name of the array. So I can say number grid. And then I'm going to make an open and close square bracket. And in here, I'm going to put two numbers. So the first number I'm going to put is going to be the element inside of the array. So it's going to be like, this is the first element, this is the second, this is the third, or this is element at index position zero, this is element at index position one, index position two, etc. So I'm gonna put a zero because we're trying to access this one over here. And then I'm gonna put another zero. So I'm just gonna put zero, zero. And that's referring to row zero, column zero. Now when I run this program, it's gonna be able to print that out. So you'll see we're printing out one, we're printing out that element over there. Let's say that I wanted to access this four over here. Well, this is going to be row zero one. So I'm going to put a one right here and then it's going to be zero one. So it's going to be one one. And now when we print this out, we should get a four, which we do. So that's essentially how you access those elements inside the array. And this works exactly like um, it does with a normal array. So if I wanted, like I could modify one of these values, I can do everything that I would do in a normal array. And that's kind of the basics. This is a structure that you might not use all the time, but when you need it, it's extremely useful. And in addition to two dimensions, you could also have like three or four or five dimensions. All you have to do is just put more like commas over here. There's also a situation where you might not know how many elements you want to go in there initially. And you could actually just like declare one of these. So I could say like int and I'll make a two dimensional array and we'll just call this like my array. And if I don't know what elements I want to put in here initially, I can actually just say equals new int. And then over here, I need to give this um, some information. So I would have to say like two, three. And this is basically telling uh, C sharp, how many rows and how many columns we want to have. So this would mean there's two elements and then each of those elements has three elements inside of it. So that's another way that you could do that. And then you could just manually like insert the elements. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.